I'm Axel Blackhead, and you're watching another episode of Funk TV. Today, we're here with Aussie band Proprietary Limited. These guys have played alongside James Brown and Maloko, toured to Chicago and Kathmandu. Their new album's coming out shortly. Tim, Peter, Danny, thanks for coming on the show. Pleasure. Thanks, thanks, Axel. Now, guys, let's start with this new album. How's that coming along? It's finished. It it's is done. finished. At last. It took us a long time. Yeah, how long? Two years. Three years once it comes up to release. Yeah. Yeah. And when, when's it coming out? Uh, well, August. we prefer mm. it to be out like months ago, but unfortunately it's we're kind new. of waiting to get some money behind it. We could have released it independently probably yeah. about six months ago, but we're waiting to see if anyone's put some money behind it. And, um, you know, so we can put that into promotion. Yeah. August 2006 is our prediction. How hard was it to like crack through the industry to, to make it out there? Well, we haven't yet. So. No. <laughs> Very hard, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's funny, you, know, you can do something and it can be successful and that doesn't mean the next time you go to do it, it's just you know, going to be like, it's all done. You've got to still fight the same battles again, over and over and over again. Yeah, especially if you're in a band in our position, which self-funds a lot of stuff too. You know, like with the last record, we had a small label behind it and they put you know, $20,000 into pr promotion and, and advertising and stuff like that, but in the big picture, that's nothing. Nothing yeah. at all. You know, so we, we still pay for film clips and... A lot of the time we still do gigs for, you know, yeah. less than we actually should. There's that exposure factor and stuff like that. So it's a kind of an ongoing process. I don't think you ever crack the industry. You know, anyone that starts playing is involved in the industry. But Most people that have cracked the industry, well, probably more like the industry's cracked them because they owe a shitload of cash <laughs> yeah. back to their record labels and so on because they've spent so much money on them to make them where they are and give them that kind of profile. That artist will probably never recoup the money that's gone into them. Sunshine was definitely where we started as musically, and it was uh, when we were first jamming and we we're playing music for for ourselves, and we really wanted to like mellow out and create these really atmospheric sort of sounds. And then when we started playing live, uh, you're dealing with an audience, so we kind of had to take that into account and start writing tracks that that, that got people dancing. And we so we learnt a lot along the way, and, and, and you should be like this more often. Was really successful in a sense because it was a really nice feel-good album and people can get into it and dance around their living rooms yeah. and it's been utilised for that reason a lot. Mm. And then our new album, of course, is taken it another step further forward in, and we've gone, we've, make, we've made it a little bit faster and we've made the sounds a little bit crunchier yep. and a bit more rock and um, hopefully um, we've somehow managed to capture the dance element and the rock element and um, we can capture both audiences I know it works really, really well live, yeah. and it's just, we're just going to have to wait and see whether it works really, really well on CD. Until next time, I'm Axel Blackhead, and you've been watching Bonk, 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 TV. Yes.